places would have run off rainwater. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2023 horror film, The Tank. The film is written and directed by Scott Walker and it stars Lucianne uh, Buchanan and Matt Whelan. And it focuses on a young family in 1978. Uh, they run a busy pet shop, uh, they're struggling financially, and then they get a visit from um, like an attorney who lets them know that there is a property that has been uh, discovered that belongs to them, that they're his mother that has previously passed, about six months previously, uh, that they didn't know existed. So this could be the answer to their dreams financially. So they head out there, it's like on the coast, um, and when they get there, they discover that everything has been boarded up um and no one's lived there for a long long time they don't understand why it's been kept a secret but it, they can see the potential here and how they can solve their financial problems so they move in and uh, start trying to make the place livable hopefully so they can get some offers and the father ben discovers that there is like a tank outside um and when this would have been built in those days many many years ago in like the 30s etc um, they would have got their fresh water from like a water tank that had been put in place from like the rainwater and things. So it discovers this tank, opens it up, goes down, turns the tank on, and then lo and behold, unleashes some fearsome creature that likes munching on people out into the world once again. Um, and they soon discover why his mother kept this property secret. Um, right, what are my thoughts on the tank? Well, this, I saw the trailer for this several weeks ago, um, and I thought it looked pretty good. I mean, I like a good old creature feature. Who doesn't? You know, if you like horrors, there's loads of different subgenres, creature features. When they're done, you know, pretty well or even half decent, they can be a bit of a fun ride. The question is, where does the tank stand um, in that subgenre? Well, it's about somewhere in the middle, I think. I think... While I think there's a lot here to admire in this film, in a sense of it's very polished, it's nicely directed, it's got good performances, um, it's got some impressive locations, um, some nice camera work, some nice cinematography. You know, it feels like a film with a budget, sort of thing. Um, so it's got a lot going for it in that sense. I think the major thing that lets this creature feature down is there's not many creatures in this creature feature. Um, you hear quite a lot of gargling and growling, but you don't see anything for a long, long time. I think it's about, I think it's about 50 minutes into the film before any kind of attack takes place. Well, apart from, um, the prologue at the beginning, which kind of is like a flashback to his mum uh, and dad that lived there. So you kind of learn a little bit about what happened to them. Um, yeah, you, you, you know, there's nothing happens in this film for 50 minutes, just lots of setup and lots of hinting and lots of attempts to build tension. And then it's like, it's like, um, a false start sort of thing. And then, then a morning come. So you get many scenes of them creeping around the house because they can hear things or they suspect somebody might be doing something, but it might be outside or the daughter thinks somebody's trying to get in and so on and so forth. You know what I mean? Um, and there's loads of scenes of that of them creeping around at, the, at night looking for this, that and the other and you're thinking, well, someone's going to happen now and it doesn't and then the, the next day starts and, it, and the process starts again. Um, now, the side effect of that, if you're a patient um, person, if you're a patient person and, and, and you can watch films and you're not impatient, what that does do is it gives us a chance to get to know the characters. So, one thing I will say about this film is I, I, I kind of cared about these characters. You know what I mean? We did get a chance to get to know them a little bit. Um, but also, it, it, it's a double-edged sword. Yeah, we, made it, we got to know them a little bit better, but bugger all, bugger all happens in this horror film for a long, long time. Um, and it's also one of those terribly generic creature features where... 
random people turn up who you know are the only reason they are there is to be munched by this, um, you know, big toothy creature. You know, you get um, a real estate woman turns up giving them an out of the, out of the out, outstanding offer on this property. You know what I mean? That, that, you know, they think the whole problems have been solved. They get this huge offer. You know what I mean? And the, as soon as you see, you just think, well, you're getting munched. And then, you know, the local sheriff, you know, gets called. Guess what? You know, why is the local sheriff there? Any other reason than to get munched? And these aren't spoilers. I mean, you'd have to be an imbecile to watch this film and not look at these characters when they're introduced and think, you're food for this creature. You're going to get eaten. Um, and where, what re and while you do need people in these films to get munched, I get that, I really do. These are just faceless people, nameless people who, you know, we don't care about. So um, it's not like, you know, we gave a monkeys about these people who, who, who are getting munched by this creature. The people we do care about is this family. Um, and unfortunately, when the film gets to the point where you're supposed to feel concerned for them, um, it's kind of handled poorly in regards to it's very dark. You can't really tell what's going on. You don't really get much of an opportunity to see the creature. And when you do, it's too dark. I couldn't honestly tell you if I thought the creature design was good because I never really felt like I got a proper good look at it. it seemed decent and interesting choice for the creature sort of thing. So it's it really is. It's one of those creature features that feels like it's been spewed out by an AI computer. You know what I mean? Somebody's tapped in a few things that they want. You know what I mean? Um, and then the computer's kind of spat it out, this creature feature. It follows the rules of a creature feature flick fairly closely. Um, unfortunately for this film, it doesn't do anything original with it. And the major things that it has going for it is, like I say, it's got a decent budget to it. It's nicely polished. It looks nice. It's got nice performances. Um, but unfortunately, when it actually comes to the horror part of the film, it's just not overly frightening. It just it just can it kind of pokes and prods you throughout the film and says enjoy this film it's supposed to be it's scary it's scary and then very little happens for such a long time um it's not all bad like i say it's just it's one of those creature features that'll just get lost in the pack you know what i mean no one will be talking about this film um after watching it no one's going to say to the mates oh you need to watch that film the tank it's really good it's not bad it's just not really good um so yeah check it out the tank if you do like a, a decent creature feature you know there is things here to enjoy it's just not gonna you know excite you particularly um so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this review i'll be back with more content on the channel very very soon